Good morning everyone. Every year as the winter sets in Delhi, the there is a sharp rise in air pollution, the fall in the temperature, the stagnant air and the low wind velocities all combine together to trap the pollutants close to the ground and thereby causing a thick toxic blanket over the city. There is a sudden rise in the AQA levels reaching sometimes up to hazardous values which are very very detrimental for our respiratory systems. There is a sudden increase in PM 2.5 and PM 10 particulate matter that is the particle particulate matters of less than size 2.5 microns and size less than 10 microns along with all the dangerous and hazardous gases like nitrous oxide, sulfur dioxide they combine together and irritate the respiratory epithelium. The patients start experiencing various respiratory symptoms. Some respiratory symptoms which patients experience are irritation in throat, scratchy feeling in throat, burning sensation in eyes, watering from eyes, post-nasal discharge, dry irritating cough and sometimes even breathlessness. Some people who are having a history of allergies, asthma, COPDs suddenly experience a rise and increase in the symptoms of pre-existing allergies. There is a sudden increase in the number of viral infections during these periods. The reason for increase in viral infections is that these pollutants irritate the normal healthy nasal mucosa which is normal, normally doesn't allow the virus to enter them but due to a chronic irritation of the pollutants in the air, the, there is a breach in the protective lining of the nasal uh, mucosa and thereby it causes the entry of the viruses into the respiratory systems causing varying degree of uh, viral infections. Not only people develop recurrent viral infections, people get prolonged viral attacks during these seasons. The children, the elderly and the immunocompromised are the uh, people who are actually more prone for these kind of infections. Now what are the things which we can do to prevent and reduce the harmful exposure of these air pollutants. Certain evidence-based measures which can be taken are that maintain adequate hydrations. It is better not to step outside early in the mornings and late in the evenings when the pollution levels are maximum. Uh, avoid all kinds of physical activities like walking, running, jogging, cycling. Stay indoors as much as possible. If you have to step out, Wear a properly fitted N95 mask. Use air purifiers at homes. Take plenty of uh, food and uh, which is rich in antioxidants and vitamin C like green leafy vegetables and fruits. However, if you still catch a viral upper respiratory infection with symptoms like having fever, if you develop fever, runny nose, sore throat, it is important to treat this symptoms symptomatically by taking say for paracetamol for fever, antihistamines for cold. Absolutely avoid over-the-counter antibiotics because most of these infections which we see are viral in origin and antibiotics have got no role in treating these infections. In fact, antibiotics are detrimental because they kill the normal bacteria which in turn can make us more prone for developing more and more infections. In case of prolonged symptoms or in case of breathlessness, we must visit a hospital for, uh, you know, proper specialist consultations. So just to conclude, as we know and as we see that this pollution is not a one-time problem. It is a recurring problem which has been happening over Delhi and entire North India. We need a strategy to counter this problem. Policy making, public awareness are two most important things so that over a period of time, we are able to make our daily greener and better to breathe for people again. Thank you so much.